Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Rebecca Reacts. I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to be reacting to part two of Emerging India Top Things Where India is World Leader. So if you haven't seen my part one, please go check that out after this video. It's a pretty good one. You guys seem to enjoy it and if you are new, I highly recommend. Um, but yeah, we're going to be reacting to part two today. A lot of you wanted part two and three and I promise part three is coming but obviously I want to do them in order. I also, today, the day that I'm filming this, had a DM on Instagram from the channel, which is Vlog Nation, who creates these Emerging India videos. And um, they were like, we've heard you reacting to our videos, that's really cool, um, which was really nice. So I'm glad they've seen it <laughs> and I hope they're enjoying it. I really enjoy their videos, they're really well made. So yeah, and thank you to the guys who have suggested these videos to me. Um, so yeah, this is part two and also just to mention I know a lot of you do DM me on Instagram, which is really nice I don't reply on Instagram. I'm sorry. It's not something I'm gonna be doing But if you do message me, I do read them, but I just don't reply. But yeah, let's get on with the reaction Top things where India is world leader Wonder what we're gonna learn in this this video today world's highest arch bridge oh my gosh whoa that is very high structures made using steel and concrete wow world's largest cranes wow the largest cranes are being used oh my goodness at a height above three Three hundred and fifty-nine meters high. Wow. Bridge will facilitate India railways to connect Bhopal and Puri in Jammu and Kashmir. Wow. Gosh, look at that. India is among top nations that receives highest FDI inflow. FY19, India's FDI stood at 64.37 billion. Wow. Amazon opens its world's largest campus in height. Oh my god. <gasps> look at it. Amazon's a huge company, isn't it? Wow. Delivering smiles. We're working with a city of 15,000 employees. Doris Morland's Seattle headquarters in the USA. Oh my gosh. Still used in the building is 2.5 meters more than the whole Eiffel Tower. Oh my gosh. Apple is eyeing 1 billion investment in Hyderabad. Hyderabad? Wow, that's a huge building. Samsung has opened the world's largest mobile manufacturing plant in, in Noida. Noida? You know I'm bad at pronouncing, pronouncing words. Samsung has closed all units in China and started to manufacture from India. Wow, I didn't know that. That sounds right up my street. My gosh, it's even got a Guinness World Record. That's crazy. Look at it. And these are all film sets. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I want to visit there. If you don't know, I work in, well, commercials, but I work in the film industry. That's amazing. Constructing the world's coolest, oh, costliest house. Oh, I know about this house, yes. Two billion dollars, wow. Oh my gosh, it is just insane. It's crazy, isn't it? I have to admit, I'm not a massive fan of the design of the building. Like, it's very, like, jagged. 
longest river front in Heritage City. Oh, wow. Look at it changing over the years. Oh my gosh. Parallel's length's 22.5 kilometers long. Wow. Oh my gosh, $12 billion. Building world's fastest stock exchanges. Ooh. Stock exchange. World's top three fastest exchanges are in India. Ooh. I mean, I don't know too much about stock exchange, so. <laughs> Constructing Cryostat, world's largest high pressure vacuum chamber for world's first nuclear fusion. Oh my goodness, wow. This music's really good, it's quite dramatic. <laughs> India's manufacturing giant LNT has taken challenge to build it? Oh right, the company. <laughs> 3,800 tons of steel used to make price that low. Must be creating so many jobs as well, which is really good. produce 150 million centigrade more than our sun. That is hot. <laughs> Within a few meters, there will be coldest place on earth with zero carbon temperatures. Oh wow. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Manufacturing rail coaches. Smart coach. What makes it a smart coach? The production of 2,919 coaches a year. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of like machinery, isn't there, involved? And here's IFCF located in Shane Chene. Has records of largest manufacturing rail services. Whoa. That's so cool. It's known to provide cheaper semi-high speed trains, like trains 18 or high standards. Wow. India also produces cheapest driverless metro trains, which is, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I've never heard of like driverless trains. Actually, that's a lie. We have literally the DLR in London, which is driverless trains. trains are considered amongst the safest. Wow, that's really good. Hmm, so clever. These metro trains are capable of running more than 140 
kilometers an hour. Oh goodness, that's a lot. Mauritius. <laughs> they look so fancy, don't they? They actually do look like our DLR system trains. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Again, I learned a lot. So part two was all about like manufacturing things and, and the stock exchange. So more of a side that I've I haven't really seen when it's been like reacting to videos um which is pretty cool so yeah definitely learned something new there um i love that they're like manufacturing these driverless trains i know i said during that clip i was like oh yeah that's so cool i wish we had stuff like that we literally do we have this thing called the dlr which is the i think it's called dual light railway i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's what it stands for and um yeah it's well it's sort of a train I don't know it's kind of hard to explain unless you know but yeah it is basically a driverless train which is so cool they are really really cool and I wish they were in more parts of London they're more like East London rather than like Central London um but I really wish it was like extended because they are pretty fun to be on <laughs> so it's really cool that they're making those sorts of things and like sending them out all over the world as well it's going to Mauritius and Australia and I'm sure other countries have asked for some as well which is really really cool it's incredible that Amazon have like huge offices in India that is like amazing um, and it looked really fancy I know they showed like the inside and also the outside the way that it's designed was like really cool as well which I liked um, and then we saw like the fancy house owned by that businessman which I've seen in other videos um, I'm gonna be honest I'm not a massive fan of the design I mean to me it screams I have too much money um, and I just yeah I can understand what like it looks incredible don't get me wrong I just feel like it in my opinion in my personal opinion it doesn't look that nice because it's just very oddly shaped it keeps going in and out and then there's a big bit in the middle and it comes I don't know that's just my opinion <laughs> and right at the beginning it talks about the bridge which is like the world's like tallest curved bridge which is so cool and we got to see construction of that and I was a bit like scared because it was very high up <laughs> um, but yeah I learned so much from that because I haven't really reacted to any other video that's been like that which is pretty cool so yeah I've reacted to part one this has been part two definitely go check out part one if you haven't already there will be a link up here and in the description and I will also link to blog nation's channel um, in the description as well if you want to go subscribe and check out all their videos and yeah if you have any other videos you want me to react to please put the links to them in the comments below part three of this will be up in a few days i'm sure so don't forget to subscribe so you know when part three goes up and hit that notification bell so you get notified when it goes up that's the most important bit um and yeah thank you for joining me with this video and i will see you very soon for a new one bye